We're asked to determine the equation of the linear function that has a slope of negative two-fifths and passes through the point negative five comma six. We want to write the equation in slope-intercept form and draw an accurate graph of the equation. So again, we're given that the slope equals negative two-fifths, so we know m equals negative two-fifths, which I'm going to write as negative two over five, which tells us the change of y is negative two when the change of x is positive five. We can also think of this as the rise over the run. So if we're at a point on the line, to find another point, we would go down two units because the change of y is negative two, and then we'd go right five units because the change in x is positive five. We also know the line passes through the point, negative five comma six. So let's actually first find our equation graphically by graphing this line using our graphing tool, and then we'll come back and show how we can do this algebraically as well. So using our live grapher, we first select the line tool here below. Now we're going to click on the point negative five comma six, which would be here. When we do this, a line is going to appear, and now we'll find a second point on this line using the slope of negative two-fifths. Again, from this point, we would go down two units because the change of y is negative two, and then write five units because the change of x is positive five. And notice how this second point happens to be right on the y-axis or vertical axis, so now we know that the y-intercept is the point zero comma four. Let's take this graph back to our presentation so we can show some work. And again, we were given that the slope m is equal to negative two-fifths, and now graphically we can determine that the vertical intercept or y-intercept is this point here, which has coordinates zero comma four, and therefore b equals four. This is all we need to write the equation of our line in slope-intercept form. The equation would be y equals negative two-fifths x plus four. Now if we're doing this algebraically, we knew the slope was equal to negative two-fifths, so we knew the equation had to be in the form of y equals negative two-fifths x plus b. We also knew this line contained the point negative five comma six, and because it's on the line, it must satisfy the equation, so we'll substitute negative five for x and six for y. So that'd give us the equation six equals negative two-fifths times negative five, which we'll write as negative five over one plus b. So this gives us the equation six equals, now we can simplify here, we can simplify here, the five simplifies to one, negative five simplifies to negative one. So notice here we have negative two times negative one, that's positive two plus b. Subtract two on both sides and we have b equals positive four, the same result we found graphically. So whichever approach we take, the equation of our line in slope-intercept form is y equals negative two-fifths x plus four. I hope you found this helpful.